Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this entire video is about the consumer unit. Uh, and more precisely, in this video I'd like to explain you how the dual split consumer unit is wired and how all the devices in the consumer unit work. So on the bottom of this picture, uh, on the right corner, uh, you see a domestic electric meter and in the middle we've got our consumer unit. When we remove the cover you will see all the cable wires and all the protective devices that are in it. On the bottom there is a bus bar cover and we can remove it too as the copper bus bars underneath are live parts that are connect all the MCBs with RCDs. But when the main switch is off all the circuits as well as the bus bars become de So in this dual split consumer unit we've got 7 circuits and 8 cables that come into it from the top. Now let's remove all the cables and later we put it back one by one so it will be easy to understand how they wire it. Now let's have a look closely on all of the devices that are inside. The first bit on the right is the main switch. It doesn't do anything special apart from switching the whole consumer unit and all the circuits on and off. The main switch is rated 100 amps and is a double pole isolator. Then we've got two RCDs residual current devices. They are designed to quickly disconnect the circuit when it detects that electrical current is not balanced between the line and neutral conductors of a circuit. In other words, uh, the current flowing in the line and the neutral conductors is equal. If you cut a cable, you make an imbalance between the line and neutral because this current is starting to flow through your body to earth. So the current in the line conductor becomes greater than the current in the neutral conductor. The RCD will detect this imbalance and disconnect the whole circuit. The RCD cannot always prevent an electric shock, but can minimize the risk of serious harm to a body. The RCD will disconnect not only the circuit with the fault, but all the circuits that are connected to it. Each RCD has a test button, this is the yellow button on top. To test it you need to press it and then RCD should trip. There are also some numbers printed on the RCD like 63 amps, this is the maximum current for this RCD and below you can find a figure of 30 milliamps. This means that if 30 milliamps or more current leaks somewhere outside of the circuit, the RCD will trip. 30 milliamp is equal to 0.03 amp. And next to the RCDs we've got MCBs or mini circuit breakers. Each one of the MCBs protects one of the electrical circuits from overload as well as a short circuit, which can cause damage to the cables and equipment. In other words, if you plug too many appliances to one circuit and they draw too much current, then the circuit will be overloaded, MCB trip and cut off the supply in order to protect the circuit. Simply the MCBs protect the cables and the RCDs protect the lives. Why we need two RCDs in this consumer unit? In case of a fault in one of the circuits, you can still get the power or light on every floor in the house. The electrician always fit lighting circuit from the first floor and the power circuit from the second floor on one RCD and the lighting circuit from the second floor and the power from the first floor on the second RCD. So in case of a fault and disconnection of RCD and all of the circuits, you still have power or lighting as not all of the circuits are on the one RCD. So if there is no lighting on one floor but you have power in socket outlets, you can always plug a, like let's say, free stand lamp to the socket outlet and check for faults. So now let's come back to the RCDs. The first RCD covers three MCBs and the second four. All the lines applied to the MCBs is through the copper bus bar underneath. To remove the bus bars you need to loose all the screws in each of the MCBs as well as the RCDs. Before it was one long bar and it has been cut into few pieces to match the ent entries to the devices. On top of the consumer unit we've got neutral terminal bar where we connect the neutral wires from the cables and the terminal bar is divided in three parts or sections that correspond to each RCD and circuits that are connected to this RCD as well as the main switch. The first part is for the main switch and any other MCBs that are not protected by RCD. 
if you feed them between the main switch and RCD. The second section is for first RCD and its circuits, and the third one for the next RCD. All the neutral wires from the circuits needs to be wired to the right sections of the neutral bar. So now let's have a look how all the wiring of the consumer unit looks like. The line meter tail goes from the meter to the line terminal on top of the main switch. And from the bottom of the switch it supplies the first RCD and the second RCD. Then the neutral tail from the meter goes to a neutral terminal of the main switch. And from the switch to the first section of neutral bar. From the same neutral bar, uh, two neutral conductors going into the neutral terminal of both RCDs. And then from each of the RCD, the conductors go into the corresponding sections of neutral bar. And that's how it's usually pre-wired when you buy new dual consumer unit. So you've got the main switch, two RCDs and just main conductors pre-wired like on this picture. Obviously you still need to double check all the manufacturer connections at the terminals if they are not too loose and tighten them if needed. Now let's bring back our cables and MCBs. So we need to wire one cable from each circuit to one MCB as well as to neutral and earthing bars. The only exception here is the ring final circuit where we've got two cables and one MCB. So we have all cables and MCBs in place and we know which cable is uh, from which circuit. Uh, let's say all the cables are in order from right to left to match the MCBs from right to left. So let's do the earthing wires first. Uh, the earth wire from first cable goes to the terminal 1 on the earthing bar. From cable 2 to terminal 2 and so on. And only the two earth wires from both ring cables go to one terminal instead of two. Now let's do the line and neutral conductors from each cable. So the line conductor from first cable goes to L terminal on the 40 amp MCB. This is probably some shower circuit. The neutral conductor from the first cable goes to the terminal 1 on the second section in the neutral bar. Line from the second cable goes to the next MCB, neutral to the number 2 terminal and the same with the third cable. And we've got first three circuits wiring completed. The next two cables are ring final circuit and we need to wire them to a 32 amp MCB. Both line conductors from these two cables go to the one MCB and both neutral conductors from these two cables go to number one terminal but the section three. The last three circuits are easy, lines go to the right MCBs and neutrals go to the neutral bar terminals 2, 3 and 4 of the section 3. So the wiring of our consumer unit is almost complete, just the last bit. To the earthing bar we need to wire the main earth cable. Obviously all the wires at the consumer unit should be more organized and tidy, but I wanted to show you uh, the path of each wire from the cable to the terminal and it was the best way to do it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was quite helpful. If so, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.